<laughs> all right so i'm pretty sure that's the biggest fish i've ever caught out of the boat solo i tell the good jokes <laughs> What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today I am gonna show you how I fish with a sinking line. So it's midwinter, pretty chilly out here, water's still pretty cold, but you can catch fish if you can get the fly down to where the fish are. So I've got several sink tip lines, different sink rates, weighted flies, unweighted flies, and we're gonna see if we can catch a few fish. First thing is, is we gotta figure out where the fish are gonna be. Because of the water temperature, the fish are gonna be holding in some of the deeper sections of the river. So I'm gonna go and find a nice deep section of river with a little bit of current, not too much current, not totally still, and see if I can use this sinking tip fly line to get the flies down to where the fish are and hopefully catch a couple of fish. There we go. Ah, oh, nice fish. Not sure what it is. It's a drum. Not too bad, little drum, we'll send him on his way. There he is, oh nice, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good fish. Is it a bass? Is it a drum? Is it a white bass? I don't know. I believe it is a drum. That guy's a little darker colored. Whacked it pretty good though. All right, this next little part's gonna be kind of tricky. I got this rod with uh, a slower sinking line and a streamer on it. A Little bit faster water. I don't need to get quite as deep and these fish are gonna be a little bit more aggressive if they're gonna hit it. I'm just gonna kind of get myself set up. It's gonna be some short cast. What I'm going to have to do is just try to get the boat in a halfway decent drift, tuck my oars, and make some quick casts right from where I'm sitting. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a little tricky. If I hook up, it's going to get hectic pretty fast. But what else am I going to do? Pass by all this good water without casting? I don't think so. <laughs> Gonna be quick, couple of casts. Then I'm gonna have to grab the oars, reposition the boat. All right, this is a good drift.
lighter rod and this lighter sink tip feels like a toy compared to that other one. <laughs> uh, nobody home. A few downstream mins to help this thing sink a little bit more. Ah, bottom. <laughs> I get excited every time anyway. Stopping here at another hole I like, nice and deep. And there's all kinds of fish in here. White bass, Guadalupe bass, largemouth bass, drum, carp, and buffalo. So you never know what you're gonna hook in here. I'm gonna give it a shot. Moving this a little faster because uh, there's a lot of uh, brush underneath. Don't want to get hung up. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a fish. Yeah. Nice. That is a good fish. Whatever it is. <laughs> we are hooked up. Oh, oh, it's coming right at me. Try to get him on the reel, but more important to not lose him. It is a big fish. Fishing with a seven weight, so. <laughs> I'm not sure. Still haven't seen him. Ah, it's a buffalo. These guys are notoriously tough. Crank this drag down some. I got 20 pound test. <laughs> so. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, this is a big fish. Very big fish. Saw the net, he didn't like that. <laughs> Maybe this time. Come on, big boy. Come on, fish. Come on, I'm gonna let you go. Just come to me. Not the easiest thing to do when you're in the boat solo. Land a fish this size. He's thinking about it. Come on, buddy. 20 pound tippet. So I'm putting some heat on him. Maybe, maybe this time. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Uh, come on. I'm pretty tired. So am I. Oh. is <laughs> look at that guy <laughs> look at that thing what a beast <laughs> you're only going to catch those with a sinking line look at that guy <sighs> All right, so I'm pretty sure that's the biggest fish I've ever caught out of the boat solo. Pretty stoked about that. That's what happens when you fish with these sinking lines, sink tip lines, these big weighted flies. That fish ate a crawfish just like uh, it was his job. <laughs> Epic fight. I let him go. Hopefully somebody else will catch him. Or maybe not. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty awesome. That was fun caught a couple more fish. Um, if you're wondering, my rig I was using today was a seven weight Orvis Recon rod with a uh, bat and kill reel, bat and kill four. And I was using a 250 grain sink and tip shooting head. I believe it was an Orvis depth charge line. Anyhow, want to thank you for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.